that head is just off the charts. <laughs> that's like really visible. Look at that. That's, that's like from another planet right there. Dave Palumbo here with Muscle Serpents Daily. And guys, format's a little different today. I missed a, about a week and a half of video. Sorry about that. I had some stuff going on in my life. Sometimes you got to take care of business. You know how that goes. But we're back in the snake room. We're looking at some cool snakes today. We're going to be looking at some boas. We're looking at some cool ball pipe. It's kind of like a little highlight reel to kind of get back into the swing of things. Uh, we had a couple, I think we had a couple slugs laid, some premature slugs from ball pythons, but I still think the females still grab it. Sometimes, uh, you know, you'll see a ball python lay a slug and you'll think that's it. And then two weeks later, she'll have the full club. A lot of times when they prematurely deliver a slug, they really have a good clutch inside of them that's going to be delivered later. Sometimes, I don't know, it's, it's, they squeak it out. Sometimes when they're pooping, it comes out. I see that with boas. Sometimes when boas are, are pretty close to delivering, they'll sometimes poop a few babies out, like one or two, and you'll be like, this snake is huge. I can't believe it's only gonna, it only gave me two babies. And then a week, a week and a half later, you'll get the full litter. So that's not uncommon. So don't, uh, don't panic if you see that. I have a feeling we're gonna get a lot of eggs over the next couple of weeks. Uh, right now we don't have any on the ground. So we're gonna take a look at some cool stuff. Stay tuned. All right, back in action here. We have our yellow hypo Amazon tree boa. We just shed out. Let's see if we can get a good look at him. There he is. Oops. These guys like to sleep during the day. They don't like. They don't like to be bothered. He's actually still got some stuck shed on him. Actually, really beautiful looking snake. Haven't taken a look at him in a while. Like to try to breed him maybe next year. Get a female. Back in this cage here. And there's our yellow tiger, Amazon tree boa. Also a little boy. I'm gonna zoom in on him a little bit. Oops, a little too much. There we go. He's looking really nice. He's looking take a bite out of my hand probably. He just shed out the other day too. They're doing very well in their little cages. We gotta put some lights in here. We still haven't put the lights in here. We'll get those in here. He's coming, he's coming, he's he's hungry. Definitely would like to eat something for sure. He'll probably be getting fed later this week. Amazon's doing good, made it through the winter. We'll be warming things up pretty soon here in this uh, our Australian room. For now though, we're still uh, operating a little cool. Everything gets cooled in this room. Actually, the whole facility gets cooled a little bit. Bowers, the ball pythons. This room gets the coldest. And they don't seem to mind. These guys don't really need it too hot. All right, the palmetto corn snakes were cooled for eight weeks. All the corn snakes here were. And we'll be feeding and then introducing males to females and see if we get any breeding action. This little uh, female here might actually get bred. I don't know. She might, we have to wait till next year, but we we'll, might try her. She's definitely old enough. She just might not be big enough, but we'll see. We'll try her. Here's our little boy that we'll be breeding to that female. He just shed out. A nice little shed. And uh, he's looking very beautiful. One of my favorite uh, corn snakes that we have, the one of the favorite morphs, I should say. Palmettos just look crazy. They look like cow retex. <laughs> really do. They even have the blue eyes to go along with that. Just a really very, very beautiful patterned corn snake. There's my Mata Mata turtle. He ate all the fish we put in here already. Wow. I just put, we just put two dozen goldfish in here the other day. They're all gone. We have to stop and get them some more food on Friday. And there's the other one over there. These guys gobble down the. the I've, been, I've upped up the goldfish just because the the live bearers are just too small. And the minnows are too small, and I they don't 
satiate these guys. And the goldfish stick out because they're so, you know, the orange color, they, they nail them. They get those things eaten really quickly. Can't believe how big these guys have gotten. So, Friday, I'm gonna get them like four dozen. Hold, hold them for the weekend. All right, here's a little uh, boa litter. I'm gonna start listing some of these guys for sale. So, I guess we might as well uh, make sure we got everything here. This is our blue line, sharp sun glow male. It was bred to a motley Aztec sun glow. So we got some really nice babies here. These are now officially a year old. And, well, they'll be a year old next month. This one just shed out. So these all have potential blue line in them. So all gonna have different degrees of blue. Remember, only one parent had the blue, so it's not gonna have as much blue as when I bred blue to blue. But you can see there's definitely a blue, a blue background color to these things. This is a possible super, they're also possible, they're all possible super sun glows, but this one looks to me super sun glow. And so this is a possible super sharp sun glow, blue line, really, really beautiful. And if you like a clean, clean albino, this one is just off the charts. Look at that. This is a beautiful male. He's got a year on him now, probably another by the end of the season, he'll be able to breed, hopefully. Really nice. All right, here's a beautiful female. This is Motley, sharp sun glow with the, the potential blue line in there as well. Blue background. Look at that nice striped tail. You got the, this is a typical Motley sun glow. Now remember, the Motley gene sits on the same allele as the hypo gene, so you can, you can have a hypo motley, but you can't have a hypo super motley because remember, there's only two spots on every on every allele. So, if you have one copy of motley and you have one copy of hypo, there's no more room. So we know this is a motley sun glow. It cannot be a super sun glow. This has got some really nice coloring. This female has actually got some really nice size too. Um, so she's very well started. You can certainly breed something like this female with that male I just showed you. That would be a nice combination. You can get some really nice babies from that. All right. <clears throat> Here's a really nice, although I think she's in shed. This is a female. This is an Aztec. You can see the, but it's a very light Aztec. This could be a super, a super hypo Aztec right here. Sun glow, or super sun glow. You can see the Aztec patterning is very light and diluted. And that could be because of the fact that there's two copies of the hypo gene. So this might be a super hypo sharp sun glow that's got the motley gene. Actually, it's got just the Aztec gene in it. Sorry, no, no motley here. Remember, if there was motley here, we would not be able to have two copies of the hypo gene. This definitely looks very dilute. And hypo erases pattern too, so. I'm thinking this is probably, I'm gonna call this a possible super hypo Aztec sun glow. Beautiful, beautiful little girl. Look at this girl, whoa, she is beautiful. I think that she might not even have the hypo gene in there. What do you think about that? I don't know, although her saddles are really erased. This, this has got a lot of blue line influence. There's a lot of blue. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's got a lot of blue coloration to it. This girl is um, really, really nice in person here. She's also a possible super sun glow, but th with a lot of blue line influence on her. Let's, let's lift her out here. Uh, see how she's doing. Really nice. See how dark her pattern is? I almost wonder if if there's no if there's no copies of the hypo gene here. But she has really small saddles. And hypo usually reduces those saddle size. She's really clean looking, so I think this I think there's just a lot of blue line influence here, and that's why she's got such a distinct pattern. These snakes are all gonna be available. I'm gonna put them on morph market, a lot of them. And if you guys are interested, hit me up. Here's another. This she, they look almost like twins, these two. Really, really high contrast. Um, 
sun glow. Look at that. There's a lot of blue line influence in here. So, super nice. Look at, those, look at that eye. It's little cocoa blocks, little fleas that get in there, pain in the neck. She is just gorgeous. He has another really, really nice, look at that anchor on her head. This is a Motley Sun Glow blue line. You've got some definite blue line and blue in the head there. Look at that. That might be the coolest head I've ever seen on a boa. Look at that. That head is just off the charts. <laughs> that's like really, look at that. that. That's like from another planet right there. You can see that motley pattern that goes throughout the whole body there to a striped tail. tail stripe. Yeah, actually, not really too straight. Really nice. I really like that girl. I might have to keep that. That head is just outstanding. And since I haven't done a video in quite some time, I figured, why not? Let's throw in our albino mandarin pied or our golden pied. So that's the albino gene with mandarin, one copy of mandarin, and pied all together. It's probably our best snake we produced of 2023. And this little female is growing up really nicely. And her oranges are getting even crazier looking, more golden looking. Look at, look at all this stuff going on in here. That's just exquisite. Better than I ever anticipated. Love this combination. And for those of you who don't like necessarily albino, here's just Mandarin Pied. Probably our nicest one we've ever produced. We produced a couple of these already. This is Mandarin Pied. You can see the, the reds in there. Deep burnt reds. Broken up with the pied. This, this uh, little female is also head albino, which is really nice. So a lot of potential here. Might actually even put this, this one up for sale. It's possible. I might list this one. I really, really like the way these came out. Mandarin and pie look really nice together. Mandarin albino pie even better. And I'm looking forward to taking this project to the next level. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video here at Palumbo's Pythons and Boas. I hope you enjoyed the video. We're going to be looking over the next couple of days at some really cool stuff I'm going to be putting up for sale. And I'm going to be selling some 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 breeder stuff. So I'm kind of trying to bring the collection down a little bit. I think it's getting a little unwieldy. And I have a lot of snakes. And I think I have a lot of great opportunities for people who are going to want to get into some of the ball python projects I have, some of the boa projects I have. So stay tuned for those videos coming up uh, toward the end of the week or actually the beginning of next week, probably more than likely. And look on Morph Market. I'll be updating that account pretty regularly over the next couple of weeks. And that's exciting stuff. So I hope you guys have a great weekend planned. Hopefully we'll have some eggs for you by Monday. If you guys are into bodybuilding, into nutrition, want to learn about how to become a diet coach, I'll be teaching a class, The Secrets to Becoming a Diet Guru class. You can check that out at my DavePalumbo.com website. That'll be Saturday all day, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. It'll be online. It's recorded. You get a 100-page manual, The Secrets to Becoming a Diet Guru uh, that I have written over the last 30 years. It's a great course if you guys want to learn about nutrition diet supplementation check it out for now we are tapped out of time you know what to do with that subscribe button turn on those notifications hit that like button i'll see you back